Hi guys, I'm Phil Town from Real One Investing. And today I want to talk to you about the risk of investing in cryptocurrency. So it may seem like everybody's investing in crypto this day from Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto marketplaces, the next big coin. I love the Dogecoin, right? We call it investing. Believe me, putting money into crypto isn't for everybody. I am one of those people and a lot of other rural investors from Buffett to Munger are staying far away from cryptocurrencies with investment capital. That means money we do not expect to lose. That's investment capital. Now, if you want to go gamble in crypto, hey man, be my guest. People go to Las Vegas, they have a great time. Could be a wonderful place to gamble. Maybe you can figure out how to gamble in it. But don't ever think of it as an investment. It really isn't an investment unless you can figure out what it's worth and good luck on that. So remember, rule number one of investing is don't lose money. Don't lose money. That's a hard thing to do when you're investing in crypto because it has really major risk. You, you can't know for sure where this is going to be in 10 years. And I really want to avoid investments that have that much risk. If I'm looking out in the future, and I don't have very rational reasons for absolutely certainty, at least as much as you can reasonably have, that this investment will do well over the next 10 years, I just stay away from it. Here's the problem. Cryptocurrencies check off a lot of don'ts. I mean, a lot of don'ts. And my list of do and don'ts when it comes to investing is pretty sacrosanct. I'd like to stick with it because I'll tell you, I've paid the price of not doing so. So I included a link to that list in the description below, you might want to grab that and learn what to stay away from and what you should be investing in instead. OK, so what are the main risks of investing in crypto? For starters, it's volatile. OK, now, normally rule one investors love volatility. I've talked to you guys about that in the past, but we only love volatility when we know the value of the thing that's going through these price swings. And that's why we like it, because if the volatility takes the price very, very high, I can become a seller. Why? Because I know the value is far less than the price. On the other hand, if the volatility takes the price really low, I can become a buyer if I know that the price is well below its value. How in the world do I do that with Bitcoin? I don't know what that thing's worth. Is it worth $300, is it worth $30 million? The corn is just marked by major upswings and downswings. I mean, over the last year, this thing has been at 60 and it's been at 30. On any given day, it can fall huge percentages. Now, this is really scary for me if I'm thinking I need certainty in my investing. So all those rulers, we like to uh, have companies that are undervalued in the market, Bitcoin and other cryptos. There's just so much uncertainty about what the real value is that we just prefer to buy the thing that's got us rich in the first place. Another major risk of crypto is that they're so new and they're so unregulated. You think uh, crypto is being out has got a, an advantage out there because it's anonymous. Yeah, well, they just ran down the people that stole four billion dollars worth of crypto. They found them. If it's so anonymous, how do you do that? And the answer is, you never touch it. If it, it's anonymous, all right, but the moment you actually try to turn that into a purchase, unless you're out on the black market someplace, uh, they can get you. So you don't <laughs> you don't pay your taxes on crypto. You get on a short list of people they want to arrest. And by the way, that's where crypto is legal. China and India have outlawed crypto, while some little tiny countries have made it, you know, their their currency. Other major companies or other major countries that have a currency risk are not about to have cryptocurrencies out there competing with them. So many people are drawn to uh, to all this unregulated wild volatility for that very reason, right? Um, but if the governments decide to regulate it, if they decide to make it illegal. Um, man, this could dramatically affect the perceived value and the price of this stuff. But for me, the biggest risk and the main reason I don't invest in crypto is because they don't come close to meeting the four M's of buying a business. The four M's are a criteria that have been developed by Buffett and Munger and all these great investors. They absolutely work to get me into companies that will not lose my money. And that's how I end up with wonderful businesses that are worth investing in and separate those from businesses that just aren't. So not one coin can meet that criteria. They're not managed by anybody. So I can't evaluate whether the management team is a bunch of crooks, right? So I guess maybe that's a positive. It's not managed by anyone who's a crook. 
It's not managed by anyone. There's nothing protecting these cryptos from some other cryptos. Like, what if somebody comes up with some better crypto than Bitcoin or some better crypto than Ethereum or some better crypto than Dogecoin? I mean, these things are all taking market share, right? So nothing is protecting them from competition from other coins. They have no moat from other coins. They're incredibly complex. They're difficult to understand. I, I mean, honestly, do you really understand cryptocurrency? And therefore, there is no way to determine their intrinsic value because we can't understand it, number one. Number two, what kind of cash does it throw off? If it doesn't throw off cash, then how do I know what it's worth? I wouldn't know what it's worth any more than what a Picasso is worth or what some horrible painting is worth or what some NFT is worth, right? You've seen what people are paying for some of this stuff on the net. So how do you know if you're making a smart investment if you can't measure any of these key factors? You're not making an investment. You're just rolling the dice. And I know, hey, it's fun and some people are winning, but some people are losing and I don't want it to be you. Now, I know not investing in cryptocurrency could make you, you know, go through the whole FOMO thing, fear of missing out. But trust me, the risks of putting real money that you need to live on in the future can be far too large with this. And you are going to be much better off if you just avoid it and try not to be envious if this stuff goes up. Instead, just focus on wonderful companies with measurable success. Use the rule one principles that I'm totally excited to teach you guys that absolutely can do it. You can learn it. And this way you steadily grow your wealth. You ensure you don't lose money. You're going to get to the goal you set for yourself. You're going to become financially independent and you're not going to sit there one day with a million dollars of coin and it's gone. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Are you investing in crypto? Why or why not? Leave an answer below with your uh, comments and I'll be sure to follow up with you. And thanks for watching. Now go play. Guys, if you enjoyed the video and you think it was valuable and teach you more about the risk of investing in crypto, hit the like button and please share the video with your friends. If you want more investing content, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the button on the screen. Got a free gift for you. And thanks again for watching.